Hi everyone, I'm just playing around with my brand new RSP Duo from SDR Play. I was intrigued by its high impedance input option, as well as 50 ohms. It gives us uh, new options to either hook up a bare wire, or use something like the Mini Whip you see here with its power injector box powered by a battery to an external antenna which is nothing more really than an electric field sensor with a preamp in it. Here you can see that the cable comes up to the top of a wooden stick with three type 75 ferrites in line to keep it well isolated. Those are appropriately cho chosen for this. Again it's just a little paddle antenna feeding a preamp and a driver for the 50 ohm cable. And that in turn goes all the way to the duo's input. But for the first task, I wanted to test the high impedance input. So we select that from the SDR console. And now I have this short wire. It's only about two and a half, three feet long. You can see it here. It's a spare wire from a uh, in-fed antenna project. I have it hooked up to the terminal block. So I plug it in and we now hear the local oldies music station. Coming in pretty well. This is the advantage of having a high impedance input. You don't need much to pick up a solid signal from the AM band at least. So now I'm going to click over to the 50 ohm input which is not functional until I actually power up the amp and on it comes and now we hear the oldies music station is again even stronger. Let's compare the two. The high Z input with the short wire. The amplitude goes way down but you can still hear everything. And then back to the 50 ohm input. With the preamplified antenna. Pretty good. So why am I focusing so much on the high impedance input? Well, my first task for this thing is to be a field monitor for an antenna measurement party we're having here in a month or two. And I would like to have a consistent and linear sensor out there that measures the E-field. And that's why I have the mini whip involved. And I'd like to remove that if I can. And having the high impedance option built into the SDR was a great first step to do that. So the fewer components you can have in the line, the fewer things can go wrong. As SDRs go, this one's the Swiss Army Knife. It has everything including the kitchen sink. The dual channels apparently have the feature where it allows you to do a form of beam steering with it. Uh, I will verify that. I bought a second mini whip that will be arriving in a couple of weeks. I intend to experiment uh, we're trying to compute the angle of arrival of invis signals using two antennas and this device. We'll see how it works and see if it matches up to the promises that they're making. Um, but again, for the price, this is a very handy SDR, and I hope it will become my new standard to complement my AirSpy. Thanks for watching. This is KX4O.